Hey all, it's Mr. Harris, um, second Procreate animation tutorial, looking really at layers, so enjoy. Open Procreate. I've got a little character here. I've drawn the wrong way around. Um, if you do draw the wrong way around, what you can do, just use the arrow tool, and then use your green as your rotate. And let's say I'm going to set this up as a animation again so I'll go back into my canvas animation assist perfect now let's say that I add a frame um, but I want the, the background to be blue now I'm going to find a difficulty if I keep colouring the background in blue because every time I create a new frame let me choose a nice sky blue if I put it in blue and I add a new frame let's um, duplicate this one every time I erase this fella um, I'm going to be erasing the background as well, and I'm going to be having to colour in the background every single time. So what I'm going to do instead is, um, if I have a blue background, I can drag it to the back. And then when I select my frame down at the bottom, I can actually set it as a background. So when I add a new frame, and you know whatever I draw, let's say I draw his head getting larger. There you go, as I play. The background remains and what's great is you can also do this with a foreground as well let's say i want it to be standing on some grass although i could do that as a background um what i can do is if i draw a little line a grass there and i click and i select it as a foreground no matter what happens my background and my foreground is going to remain so that's a really important thing backgrounds and foregrounds another thing you can do in procreate which is really great is create sub layers. So in this frame, let's say um, I want this guy's, I don't know, arm to move independently. I can always, I can always within this layer, move his arm by using the selection tool, make sure I'm on freehand and I can select his arm like this, go back to my arrow and then I can move his arm and that's great um, in one respect, oh, it's difficult because it's a thin layer, it doesn't want me to, there you are. That's great in one respect, if I just press play now, you can see his arm raises slightly. Um, the, the issue here though is that next time I raise his arm, let's duplicate this one, select his arm again. If it crosses any other body part, it's going to become more difficult to then edit it because it's still on the same layer you can see if I move it down again it's taken some of that body with him I'll delete that one so you can see how his arm raises but the body's never going to marry up it's never going to be perfect so what you can do if I just um, double click undo all of these layers until I've just got his arm there I'm going to remove this one again um, what I can do is I can create a new frame and then drag it and hold it into the actual frame. I'll go on to the original one. I'm going to rub out his arm. There we are. And if I click on this new layer, I can then draw his arm independent of his body. So when it comes to duplicating this on the next layer, exactly the same again, I can rotate the arm. And if I duplicate again, I can make sure you're on the right layer as well. Rotate the arm once again. So when I click play, you can see this is having no adverse effect actually on his head whatsoever. For more complex image, now I'm gonna go back to screen size and by using the settings i'm going to add a photo i'm going to add a photo of this lovely homer simpson here i'm going to enlarge it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to animate this and have his arm moving independently so i will go back into my animation assist canvas animation assist selected and what i will do is i will actually select his forearm and the donut with this selection tool like so i'm going to copy and paste now naturally that's put it into a new frame um, but i want this all part of the same frame but two layers so i'm going to select drag and drop within that same layer i'm going to hide that for a second and i can actually still see 
that um, I've got home here without, like, he's got two arms. And I, I want the first arm, the original arm, removed. So I'm going to just go into my eraser tool. I'm going to erase his arm up to where the donut is. I think around about here. I can see if it's correct. Yep, I don't think I've lost anything. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Then I can click on the arm and let's say, actually I'm going to go on the original layer, sorry, the original one and have the arm rotate away from him. Now of course this might still require a little bit of, um, you know, editing just to make it perfect. Let's try that again. You can see there that Homer's original arm, I'm just going to um, rub that out and recreate it. What I'm going to do that is if I click and hold on a colour, I can actually select that colour there. And I, I know that the actual arm is going to be, or the, the outline is going to be black. A little bit too black, really. But this is just for illustration purposes. There we are. I think that's better. Anyway, zoom out, no one will know. And there, if I duplicate this layer, I can have the donut edging ever closer towards his mouth. And if I line that up, great. So when I click play, there we are, animating Homer Simpson.